Hey everybody in Giants Nation, thank you for tuning into the video. Uh, today we're going to go over the first two picks that the Giants had in the draft. Um, I was going to do a video uh, recapping everybody, but we had a lot of players to recap. Um, they drafted 10 players, they had 10 draft picks, um, so I'll do the first two rounds. The two most important rounds, because they are 99% probably going to start 99 probably whichever um so in the first round the giants picked up andrew thomas left tackle at fourth overall there are a lot of players people here who wanted them to go isaiah simmons and i get the love because i wanted them to go isaiah simmons too um they they said because he is a multifaceted he played outside linebacker inside linebacker he played corner slot. He played safety. Uh, predominantly, he played outside linebacker and safety in college, though. So he was uh, in the box safety, essentially. But they want Andrew Thomas. Now, let's look at Andrew Thomas. Andrew Thomas is out of Georgia. He is 6'5", 315 pounds. He ran a 5'2", 240, 21 on the bench press. And 4.66 on the shuttle. Now, he had a better, better shuttle than Tristan Wirfs and um, Mackay Becton. Everybody were high on them because Wirfs ran a steaming fast uh, 40 for a big guy. But here's what I'm going to focus on with Andrew Thomas. In 1,075 pass block snaps. He allowed 37 QB pressures allowed. Now, a lot of people are hating on this pick. They're like, oh, you could have went Wirfs. You could have went Becton. You could have went Jedrick Wills. Um, but they went Andrew Thomas. Um, everybody seems to have a short memory, though, because before the combine and Becton and uh, Wirfs ran a very fast 40 for their size, Andrew Thomas was the consensus number one def uh, left tackle coming out of college. Everybody said he's going in the top ten because he went uh, um, he went against uh, Josh Allen in college, uh, Kazon in college, Matos in college, and you know what? He handled them all at left tackle. We had a um, an experiment when Eric Flowers was drafted, and he was not a natural left tackle. Andrew Thomas is a natural left tackle who is going to be mean, he is going to have fast hands, and he's going to be able to block for Daniel Jones, and he's going to be able to open the holes and get people out of the way for Saquon Barkley. And that's what they needed. Um, you may want the splash, you may want that big, oh, Isaiah Simmons, everybody's going to, but you don't know. Um, you don't know if what he brings to the table is going to translate to the NFL. Andrew Th Thomas, though, he played left tackle. He knows how to play left tackle. Keep him there. So, looking into the future, let's think, um, let's say Andrew Thomas, you have Hernandez, center, to be determined. You have Zeitler at right, uh, right tackle. And now it's either going to be Nate Solder or Cameron Fleming who are going to be your right tackle. I understand that they drafted one in the third round, Matt Parrott. Um, but if Solder, Solder could be the option for a year at right tackle. Um, I, we are short up at left tackle now, though. So I'm happy with that pick. Now in the second round... I thought that they were going to go either defensive end or outside linebacker. There were a lot of players there. Matos, um, there was Josh Uche, there was Zach Bond who was still there. And they didn't go with any of those guys. And I didn't think they'd go safety in the second round. I thought third, fourth, maybe later. But they went with the best safety, in my opinion, in the draft with Xavier McKinney. Now, Xavier McKinney, he is 6'1", 200 pounds, and his stats read like this. His last year at Alabama, he had three sacks out of the safety position, which is very good. Three interceptions, four for forced fumbles. 
uh, 59 tackles, and he had, uh, let's see, solo tackles were 59, and assists for 36. Uh, ran a, what was it, 5, no, 4, 6, 2 at the 40, I want to say. Um, but if you watch watch him, any of his tape, he is um, faster than he looks. Um, he is going, he is a improved Landon Collins. Uh, Landon Collins' downfall always seemed to be he wasn't very good in pass coverage. Um, something you can kind of look at is when in overtime he was on a uh, tight end when we played um, oh man I'm tired right now I forget his name um, anyway and we ended up he, he's covering him he's a rookie and he can't even cover that the rookie that was on, he was on sorry about the stumble um, but McKinney he could play in the box obviously um, with three sacks, it's very impressive. He can also, he's a ball hawk. So the Giants went out and got, he was he had 95% of the people who mocked him, mocked him in the first round, and he fell to West at 36. Um, I thought maybe they would have went Grant Delpit, but they didn't. And I'm okay with McKinney. He can play in the box. He can play safety. Um... Kind of raises the question what they're going to do with Julian Love. I say they probably put him at the nickel slot. So you're going to have James Bradbury and DeAndre Baker on the other side. Hopefully they can coach him up and he can be better than he was um, last year. Though at the end of the year he was pretty good. And then you have Julian Love, Peppers, and McKinney. Now we still have questions at um, Edge. It looks like they're going to go... Carter, Zimenez, Fackrell for their edge. Uh, we have 7,000 defensive tackles, so I guess we're okay there. Uh, inside linebacker, um, we did make, we did draft some inside linebackers, some outside linebackers, which I'll get into in the next video. But Blake Martinez, who I'm still very high on, I think he's going to be very good for the Giants. Um, him, probably Connolly. So... If they can have a shutdown secondary, it's going to help the front seven. It's going to help the linebackers get pressure. Um, we're just going to have to see. But that's the first two. Uh, we're going to go next. We'll go round three and four. Round three was their compensatory pick, and then four was the regular pick. We will pick up both of them. Um, I loved both of the pickups that they did, uh, but we will talk about that in the next video. Thanks for tuning into the video make sure you uh, hit that subscribe button uh, if you could give me a like and comment below and tell me what you think uh how the giants did in this draft thanks for tuning in everybody